Hello everyone again. So another subject that I want to talk about is the dangerous driving of the drivers and which NASCAR does not seem to to really care about or to take seriously. In a recent tweet from Brad Keselowski with a video during the Texas race where we see a brown car, I don't know which driver it is at the time of this recording, uh, which comes out out of its pit box and he slightly hits Ty Gibbs who is driving on the pit lane. Then Gibbs retaliates uh, the other car by purposely pushing the other car in the direction of Chris Porsche's pit crew. You can see the the brown car that who, that had to block the front wheels to avoid hitting a member of the number 17 pit crew. This behavior by Gibbs is totally unacceptable and has no place in this sport. NASCAR must penalize Gibbs severely for this. And because at the speed the cars are going through the pits, the chance of killing a pit member is quite high. And personally, if I will be in charge of race direction, I will suspend Gibbs for the rest of the season for this very dangerous action in order to send a clear message about this kind of behavior. The other point is William Byron. For some unknown reason, the one at NASCAR saw anything, even though they have cameras on board. We see Byron voluntarily crashing the knee Hamlin after while the yellow is out. This kind, this kind of action has no place either in this sport. When a yellow is out, it's always the sick safety team out on the track and that kind of action is putting them in danger. Byron deserves to be suspended for a few races too. NASCAR has reached the point where they must regain control of the situations. The drivers act in a dangerous way and one day someone will be killed. Be it another driver, a member of a pit crew, a member of the safety team, or even just a fan. Like the Murphy's Law says, whatever can happen will eventually happen. So it is therefore up to them to take measures to minimize their chance of this situation happening. NASCAR needs to send a clear message about this, that this behavior has no place in the sport. And I believe that NASCAR should be inspired a bit by uh, Formula One on this subject. Like among other things, if they didn't see an incident at the time, they investigate and issue the appropriate penalties later. They can also put a message announcing that such incident is under investigation so that it's clear for everyone, for example. Because honestly, NASCAR seems really incompetent not to see a situation like that, or at least not to investigate it. And not just once, but twice. This kind of actions must be controlled and punished. To give an example, a go-kart guy owns through a bumper down the track towards another competitor. And today he's banned from karting because of his action that was dangerous. It's true that the popularity of NASCAR comes from the fights between drivers. But on the other hand, the dangerous actions which we have witnessed this weekend, which it endangered the lives of others, should in no case be tolerated. Uh, just to give an update uh, that came out at the time of making this recording, I saw that NASCAR gave Byron 25 points and a $50,000 $50, fine, and Ty Gibbs got 75 points and 75 five thousand dollars fine uh, to me this is a slap on the wrist it's not going to discourage them from taking dangerous actions in, in the future oh so, that's all for today and see you next time